Saturn's moon Enceladus is a pretty crazy place. Just 500 kilometers in diameter, the oceans of Enceladus are covered by a layer of snow and ice several hundred meters thick, and a plume of water ice grain spews from fractures in its southern polar regions. The sixth largest moon of Saturn and the 18th largest in the solar system was visited by Voyager missions in the 80s and also the Cassini-Huygens probe in July of 2004. Cassini flew through the plumes of ice streaming from the South Pole and were able to sample them directly with the Cosmic Dust Analyzer instrument. It's taken decades to analyze this data and build up the expertise and knowledge to understand the results, but we finally have some fresh insights into Enceladus thanks to a paper published on October the 1st in the journal Astronomy and Astrophysics. As you probably know, Saturn has a complex system of rings, and the E-ring is the second furthest out of the rings, spanning about a million kilometers, starting 150,000 kilometers from the surface of the planet. The researchers were able to show that organic molecules found in the E-ring were also present in the fresh ice that Cassini sampled spewing out of Enceladus. That's solid evidence that the organic molecules in the ring originated in the oceans of Enceladus. The team has also found new molecules in the ice that have never been detected before. These new molecules are involved in chains of chemical reactions on Earth that eventually lead to the formation of complex molecules that are the key ingredients for life. Could Enceladus be habitable for some forms of life? It certainly hits all the prerequisites, such as water, a source of heat, and now it seems there's strong evidence of the first steps on the chemical pathway to complex life. It's really cool to see interesting scientific results coming from Cassini data 20 plus years after it was gathered, and it just goes to show the long-lasting impact of space missions. The team say there's more data still to be analyzed, and it'll be interesting to see if that leads to any further big results. The research has also galvanized the planetary science community to think about a future mission to Enceladus and what sort of instruments they would want on board to search for further signs of life on the small moon. That's today's video. Don't forget to drop a like. I will catch you in the next one.